and welcome to BitBoy Crypto. I just want to give you guys a quick update tonight. I've been traveling all day. I've been uh, left the Blockchain World Conference today, and now I'm actually at another conference for my in real life job. But I want to just give you guys an update because you guys know we are very committed to daily news here. So even though I can't be on the screen right now, um, and due to the fact that uh, don't have my regular equipment, I'm in a hotel, not sure how great the Wi-Fi is going to work here and stuff. Um, instead of doing a live stream, I just want to give a quick update um, and clear up a couple things about Coinbase and the announcements that were, or the announcement that has been made. Uh, first, a look at the market cap. You'll see it is at two hundred and fifty billion dollars. Bitcoin dominance at forty three point one percent. I think we are going to start seeing that number decrease slightly. Um, and Bitcoin right now is at twenty or uh, sixty two eighty seven. Um, and everything in the top 10 are gainers other than Tether. Tether was briefly at number 9 uh, over the last 24 hours. So we talked about what a big deal it was for it to be in the top 10. And now with it being in the top 9, that really just shows how much crypto is struggling. So outside of that, pretty much in the top 18, we have um, all good gains except for a couple projects that are down slightly. A quick look at the winners of the day. Wax token is up considerably and then not far behind 0x, which is continuing to pump which is now above where it was the day of the announcement. And of course, Stellar has also pumped today. Um, we're seeing some good good movement out of the projects that were uh, included in the Coinbase announcement. Uh, then we look at the biggest losers of the day. We have VeChain, which is down about 7.5%, just not a good day for that project. Uh, Digibyte, that has been on an incredible pump uh, here recently, has cracked the top 40, um, is down 7%. And then we do have... Um, our chain and Zencash also at 5% losers. The rest are pretty small, most mostly winners today, which is a good thing, obviously. So just a quick look at the Bitcoin chart. Um, here, This is I pulled up the seven-day chart here, and we've been talking about a lot of these robotic movements and bigger candles. But while we do have a couple in the last seven days, we have this big dump uh, where it dumped down um, a, a few days ago. And then, of course, maybe three days ago, we had this dump. Um, and then it bounced back up and then it dumped again. But outside of this section right here, really, um, since then, things, even though we did have a Coinbase announcement, things have been really steadily increasing. So it is almost back at $6,300, which is a good sign. Um, of course, I am on record as saying I do think that I, I don't think we're going to go back down below 6000 just from an FA standpoint. TA people will tell you we are. But we have news like the Coinbase news coming out, and then we have news. Um, maybe about an ETF coming soon, and that could absolutely transform the market. Uh, CNBC said that we're really just one ETF decision um, away from going on a bull run, and I really strongly agree with that. I think Coinbase announcement has really set that up nicely on a T, and once the ETF announcement comes, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, um, it'll knock it out of the park. So I did a video um, and uh, a live stream yesterday when the announcement was made about Coinbase, and, uh, you know, technically, so on my video, the title is they are adding it, but a quick read of the article, you know, it actually states that they're not officially adding these five cryptos at this point. They're looking into adding them. And I'll just be honest with my feelings on it, which is that I do believe all five of these are going to get added. I'm very, very, very confident all five of these will be added to Coinbase. I think they really just had to say this. Um, because they knew that word would get out that they were looking into this, and these are very serious dealings they're having with whatever these third-party, um, you know, probably development people uh, and regulation people in terms of getting these cryptos onto Coinbase. Uh, they're probably having serious conversations with those people, and uh, they knew that the news would leak, and they wanted to go ahead and come out and say it on the front end, but they're not ready to go on yet. So there still could be some possible issues and hurdles, but to me, they're really just announcing this in this way, kind of to protect themselves if something were to go wrong. I do think the plan is absolutely for all five of these to be added. And if you just look at the tweet um, thread from the announcement, they talk about how Ethereum Classic was very easy to add. Basically, it I mean, it is the original Ethereum blockchain. Um, but then they said, uh, please note, we are not guaranteeing the listing of any of those assets. We may list them with partial support or only in specific jurisdictions. In particular, some assets may become available in other countries before the U.S. Now, I do believe that is something realistic that we could see as our regulation 
get straightened out. But I do think that Coinbase pretty much has all their ducks in a row here. And it would take something going wrong, I believe, for everything to not go scheduled as planned. Which I don't have access to that schedule or know when it will be released. But, you know, uh, it, I don't think it's going to be very long, honestly. I think probably September to October range, which a lot of TA people are saying that's their target for a bull run. So it, it may coincide with that, which would be really cool. So I, I, I do think that, like I said, all five of these are going to go on, in my personal opinion. They're all five great investments. But the one thing that really is advantageous for for uh, if you're a fan of ZRX like I am is a lot of people think that ZRX could still be the first one to get added out of those. And, of course, I ZRX has been on a great pump. I've certainly enjoyed it. Um, I do think it is going to only get bigger from here. Um, just like we've seen with Ethereum Classic, the U.S. dollar value may not be the greatest but it is continuing to pick up Satoshis. So I think that we will see the same thing with ZRX, but hopefully ZRX maybe could get added before the other four, shortly before them. Um, and of course, they can use the ZRX protocol to trade the other projects. So, you know, maybe this isn't that bad of news necessarily, um, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, they're all going to get added. The order really probably isn't super important unless you're trying to sell the top. I'm a long-term ZRX holder, um, also, basic attention token holder. I believe in those projects long term. Um, Stellar and Cardano and Zcash. I mean, those I, I did call two of those on Coinbase, uh, Stellar and Cardano, but those aren't long term holds for me. For, to me, out of those five, the long term um, prospects of ZRX and basic attention token, I believe, have the most upside. So I just want to clear that up with you guys. Uh, I, I know my title of my live stream was a little misleading. I didn't mean for it to be. Um, I just read the tweet. I was super excited seeing it all over Coinbase, and I didn't even really notice the nuanced phrasing that they used there. Um, so I certainly didn't do that on purpose, but I did want to clear that up for you guys. Uh, going to be back tomorrow with a regular news video. I am out of town until um, Wednesday. So uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we'll probably just be doing one video. So next Sunday, we'll be back with a new episode of Hoddle Trader Dump. So you guys still be submitting to me your ideas for which projects you think I should look for, but we are going to skip it tomorrow because um, I am out of town and just don't have all my regular equipment to do that video right. So everybody, thanks for watching. Big shout out to the Bit Squad for liking and sharing our content. If you're not a subscriber, please become a member of our community by clicking the subscribe button. You can also enter a chance to win $500 in Bitcoin, and we hope that you do that. So until next time, BitBoy out.